okay for from today i will be dealing with signals and systems very important subject and also it's very easy so if you give in your 100 percent effort so you can understand this subject very very easily okay so we will start with uh, signals now okay signals and system so what is signal and what is a system okay so signal okay it is a function Okay, it is a function of one or two variables, one or two or many variables you can consider. So, if I consider this as a function, okay, this is a function of x, x square plus 2x plus 3. So, is this conveying any information to you? Okay, you are just saying like f of x is equal to x square plus 2x plus 3. But it is not conveying any information, right? So, this can't be a signal. I said, okay, signal is a function. Okay. So, if I consider i of t is equal to a sin omega t, okay, it is conveying some information, okay, i of t, okay, it's a current signal, right, v of t, this is a voltage signal, okay, so, it is a function, okay, of one or more independent variable that will be conveying some information, conveying information to you, so, all functions cannot be your signals, but all signals will be functions, okay? So, it's like uh, it can have one variable, it can have two variables, it can have three variables or it can have more than that, okay? So, we will be considering independent variables. So, f of x is something, okay? Here, x is your independent variable, okay? Independent variable here, it can be time, it can be frequency, it can be spatial variable. It can be spatial variable. So, normally in signals and systems, we will be considering the time as your independent variable. Okay. So, if I consider, see, if I want to measure temperature at a depth x in the ocean, okay, in the ocean at a depth x, I have to measure what? The temperature. So, in that case, this x it becomes your spatial variable. Okay. So, f of x is nothing but it is the function of spatial variable. But similarly, I am not miss, I am not only concerned with the depth. Okay. But at a point x, y, z, I have to measure the temperature. So, in this case, what happens? The It will be the function of three variables okay likewise uh, normally uh, or frequently we will come across or we will encounter the signals like audio signal okay then you have video signal image signal okay these are the signals that we normally encounter with so this speech signal speech okay so whatever i'm conveying okay a speech signal also Okay, it is also a signal. Okay, the amplitude of this varies with time. With time. Depending upon the type of the word spoken or depending upon the person who is speaking that. Okay, so if I consider an image signal. Okay, so if I consider this as an image, I have to measure the brightness at this point x comma y this x comma y this is a point on an image so this is a black and white image if i consider okay at this point i have to measure the brightness so f of x comma y this is the function of two variables x comma y this will tell us about the brightness of the image at that particular point x comma y so similarly if i consider black and uh, black and white video signal video so this will be the series of this images right series or the sequence of the black and white images okay black uh, black and white video so here i will consider f of x comma y comma z so here i will be considering three independent variables so signal is something that is conveying information. So, it is a function of one or more independent variable which is conveying some information to you. Okay. So, if I consider a system. Okay. This is a system. If 
if I give an input here, okay, that will be transforming this input to output. Input, it is also called as excitation. Output is also called as response. Okay, so if you are giving an input x of t, you will get output as y of t. So here, this is a system with one input and one output. So it transforms input to output. So we have two types of signals. Continuous time signal. Discrete signals. Right? So discrete signals, it can be obtained by sampling this continuous time signal. Okay, continuous time signal, okay, here if I consider, this is a function of t. So, this is a continuous time signal. Why? Because at every point, okay, at every point if I consider, I will be having a value, right? So, this is a continuous time signal. So, discrete time signal is like this. It will be at particular instants of time. Here, if I, if I want to measure the value at this point, then I do not have any value there. Okay. So, this is the discrete time signal. This is the continuous time signal. So, here if I pass the impulse train. Okay. Impulse train. Okay. If I consider some unit, if it is of 1, I will consider. Okay. So, at this point, what happens? I will be getting the value in the same shape. It will be very, very near so that this shape should be maintained. Okay. If I consider the impulses like this, then obviously I can't uh, see the shape of this uh, signal, okay, which is coming in. It will be very, very difficult to identify. So, it will be placed very near here. Okay. So, it will be like this. According to this. So, this is the train of impulses and here the sampling period it will be like NTS if I consider okay it will be sampled and I will be getting the discrete time signal. So discrete time signal it will be obtained from your continuous time signal. So we will be studying about four types okay. So continuous in time and continuous in value. Continuous in time and value. For this, I can consider the continuous time signal like this. Because, see, at any point, I have a value, right? So, it is continuous in time. Continuous in um, value means, see, if I consider this as phi and this as minus phi, I have all the values from phi to minus phi, okay? I have all the values. So, it is continuous in value also. It is continuous in time also. Next, if I consider, it is continuous in time but discrete in value. Okay. So, like this, if I consider, okay, this is 2, 0 to 2. If I consider, and this is phi and this is minus phi. What happens? At point 1 also I have a value. At point 5 also I have value. At 1 also I have a value. 1.5 also I have a value. 1.6 I have value. So it is continuous in time. But amplitude, see, it has amplitude at 5 and minus 5 only. 4, I do not have a value. 3 also I do not have a value. So it is discrete in your value but it is continuous in your time. And then comes the third one, which is discrete in time but continuous in value. Discrete in time, continuous in value. So, when I sample that continuous signal, okay, I will be getting the values like this. So, here 
in this period i do not have any value here also i do not have any value so that will be discrete in time means at every instant of time i do not have a value but continuous in value is so if i am sampling the continuous time here i may get 2.4 here i may get 1.2 1.5 something like that so you will be having the values continuous okay so we will be having all the values so it is continuous in value but it is discrete in time so fourth one is discrete in time and discrete in value so when i see the process of quantization quantization it's like i will set a certain point okay if it is above that then what happens okay it it should go to the above point if it is below that it should come to another one point like if i have 1.2 it should be 1 or if it is 1.8 then it will be considered as 2 so here it is uh, if i consider this as 2.9 and this has 1.7 okay so at this point you have point uh, 1 then it comes it uh, as comes as 0 okay 0 then here it will come as 1 then this as 3 okay 1 3 then again this as 2 this is 2 so if this is uh, 1.3 then it comes as 1 okay if it is point 7 then again it is 1 okay like this so what happens anyhow i don't have any value at this particular instance of time right so it is discrete in time that is right discrete in value because now i do not have this 2.9 i do not have 1.7 i have one i do not have 1.3 it will be in terms like 0 1 2 3 4 5 so obviously it will be discrete in value okay so this these are the different types of signals so you know how to get the discrete signal from the continuous signal that is by process of sampling so if it undergoes a process of quantization then we will get this so this is nothing but it is a digital signal okay it is a digital signal so this is all about the introduction of signal sign system